The stickers have arrived. <laughs> it is currently Monday and it's like 4.30ish. And I'm just starting the vlog now because I wasn't sure if I was even gonna be starting the vlog today because I was waiting for a sticker delivery. It was originally gonna be here on Saturday, but it got rerouted or something, but it's here now. Earlier, I, we did a whole bunch of house cleaning just because I was like, well, might as well get it done now before I get knee deep or more like neck deep into <laughs> store prep. And I was just making some listings for the shop. I don't have photos for the listings or weights and I'm really just estimating inventory for now, but I'm like, let's at least get some of the listings made and then I can just add the info that I need to add later. And my inventory product shelf thing was delivered. So this was delivered just now at the same time as the stickers. It's a storage shelf with wheels at the bottom for a product picking station. And the bins that are over here are gonna go onto those shelves. But because I already have this mostly set up, I probably will just continue to use this for this shop update. Unless I'm waiting for product to arrive and I'm just bored, I can start at least like building the shelving units and stuff, getting the bins on. But yeah, that will replace this station because this is gonna come down. This will be a gallery wall eventually. And we can just wheel out the cart whenever we need it, whenever I have a helper helping me package. I also just got these in the mail today. I measured ahead of time to make sure they would fit under here. Although they do come apart, so it's a little modular. You know, you can stack them however you want. But this would be for prints because I'm running out of space up here a little bit. Like, you know, I've got one row of bins and I've got notepads and some prints and then more prints. So I can move the prints down into these shelves. And it would also make it really easy to move them over when I do have packaging help. These bins can be moved over to the table over there. I'm not going to bother with that shelving unit right now though because the stickers are here. I'm going to get Christian's help to make sticker packs. He's been folding a lot of boxes which has been a huge help but now I'm going to make him do some product prep. I think the first thing I need to do is clean this off because when I had rearranged my packing station when my sister was here, this tape was right next to Rick and Rick likes to spit. And so that's tape residue all over this. So let's clean that up. And I'm gonna grab an extra roll here. We will also need these little baggies for the sticker sets to go into. And I'll probably need another box of these because they're the same little sleeves. Also in the evenings, I've been pinning more of the bunkin pins. I pinned these two containers here. So all the bunkin pins are officially prepped Here's our little station up in the loft. We brought up a second table. <laughs> Here's Christian's box holding station, which will become our sticker station. <laughs> Here's the box of stickers from Sticker Beaver. And um, yeah, I guess I'll start by unboxing that and let's take a look at the stickers. So the lighting up here absolutely sucks, but we you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. One thing we still haven't gotten is lamps. Like we need lamps. Because <laughs> we got rid of a lot of what we had before we moved. I just remembered there's also the freebie stickers in here. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are cute. Oh my god, I can reuse these. I mean, I kept the boxes that they sent stuff in last time, but they were a lot bigger than this. This is really good for my shop orders, actually. <laughs> Too small for sketchbooks and planner pads, but it could fit other stuff. Yay for reusing. And boxes are not cheap, especially these days. They cost like twice as much as they cost me a couple years ago. Oh, okay, it's warm up here. Oh. Okay. Box number one. Oh my god. They're so cute. <gasps> so these are pretty small because they're meant to replace the sticker sheets that I originally wanted to get done. I explained all the product drama in the last video, but um, you're getting two of each bunny, not one. So these are pretty small for die cut stickers, but it's gonna be a set. So we got the bundled bun and the baking bun. Cute. So these are gonna cost more than a sticker sheet would but they're individually die cut and they're on clear transparent sticker paper. 
which is why I had to go this route. Because Sticker Beaver doesn't do um, clear sheets, but the place I was trying to get them from did. And so I was like, if I want the transparent background on these, I have to go with die cut. So here we have the mittens, because yes, I did do some of the accessory items for the bunny pack. There's the hot chocolate there too. <laughs> Those mittens look huge, oh my God. And then we have some of the sassy Santas in here. We've got the hands on hips Santa. <laughs> and here, oh, we got the freebie stickers in here along with more sassy Santas. This is the lean Santa. I had to try to give them names for the files. So this is lean, because he's leaning back. <laughs> oh my God, the size is so fun. <laughs> and these are the freebies. So in the spirit of the Christmas buns, we have buns. So this was last year's artwork. I drew some animals and they were gonna go in wreaths and it was gonna be potentially an ornament thing. And I ended up not doing that because I didn't like how all the animal art turned out. And so I left that unfinished and some people have been asking about it, but I don't plan to revisit that. But I thought it'd be fun to take the bun and make that the freebie sticker for the shop update. And this one is also on clear. It's a transparent sticker. Whoa, whoa. little bun bun. Cute, cute. And these are all matte finish. So when I did the witch hat clear stickers, those were a glossy sticker. All of these are matte. I think I just like it a little bit better that way. And here we have the teddy buns and the, I think I, well, I've had a couple names for this one. I think at one point he was named Arm Up and then I named him Faint, like he's fainting. <laughs> so there's that one. The Santas are a little bit bigger than the bunnies, but there are fewer stickers in that set because you're still getting two of each Santa. And there are five Santas, so 10 stickers. And then the bunny set will have 12 because there are four bunnies, two of each, plus four accessory items. The little teddy buns, trying to pull up the elastic. So cute! And then, whoa, we have the squat Santa. Yeah, yeah. And the ginger bun. Oh God, my voice is cutting out. I had a bit of a coughing fit before I started filming this. I'm not really coughing anymore, but get the odd coughing fit randomly. And the teddy bears. So the four accessory items for the bunny set are the mitten, the hot chocolate, the ginger bun, and the teddy bear. And in the final box, we have the sipping bun. So cute. And the butt Santa. <laughs> Cause two of them are kind of squatting. So they're one same squat and this is the butt Santa. Look. So cute. <laughs> so now that we have these, we can start building the sets. So many stickers, so many stickers. They're so cute and little. ended up pulling my table out so I could do the top three rows from one side and the other ones from the other side. It's just easier on my back because there's less leaning. These are the full sets here. Uh, so yeah, Sassy Sandas, 10 stickers in one set. Wow, 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 wow. So, yep, and then I've got the table all laid out. Christian's still going, but his are way more densely packed than mine, so he has more to do, but now that I've got them laid out, I can start sleeving them. Tape the sleeve shut. Yeah. Probably will sleeve them all, then tape them all. Now with my bunny sticker set, I kind of regretted sleeving them in advance. Like not the new ones, but my uh, the cottage core buns. I kind of regretted sleeving them in advance because there were only two of them. And then it, when I made new stickers later, I couldn't put them in the sleeve easily because they were already taped shut and it's hard to not rip the glassine when you reopen it. And so I was like, oh man, I really shouldn't have pre-sleeve these. So with these sets though, there are just so many stickers in each set that it'll just make my life a lot easier. 
if they are sleeved in advance, it'll just make packaging so much faster. Plus then we can knock out orders a lot quicker too during packaging and yeah. Might as well be as prepared as we can in advance, especially since we have the time for it while we're waiting for other product to get here. It's not gonna look the cutest in a sleeve like this, but that's the way it is. Let me just tape some right now. Fold them back. And I put the tape this way because the glassine, when you fold it over backwards, there's a double lip because one edge is longer than the other. So if I folded it the other way, it would just be a single edge, but this is the, the clean side of the glassine that doesn't have the seam, which is why I fold it back that way and then put the tape that way. So for the Santas, I think I got enough to do 500 sets. And then for the winter buns, I got enough to do 750 sets. So this will be our life for the next while. Okay, but yeah, that's what we're doing. I probably should have got some bins to put these in. <gasps> Wouldn't it make sense to seal it with the Santa tape? <gasps> that's what we should be doing. I'm gonna untape all these. Because I will have a ton of the Sassy Santa washi because they accidentally made my order twice. So we're going to be swimming in washi. <gasps> okay, yeah, 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 we're going to redo that. Oh, that's much better. Now we have the Santa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this tape. <laughs> And I did bring up one for Christian, but this one doesn't have the modified core, so the washi's really loose on it. Because this one, I have some foam in there to make the washi fit a bit better. It's all there. Great. Now beat it. You can't be kidding me. No. Okay, it's the next morning. We got through all the sassy Santas. Whoa, so many. And we'll work on the bunnies today. I was checking the tracking for everything last night because I finally got an email notification that the ornaments have shipped. But when I checked the tracking, they actually shipped a couple days ago. And so they're due to arrive, I think it said tomorrow. It's hard to keep all the dates straight. I think it's the pillowcases coming today ornaments tomorrow, the additional washi, I don't know when it's coming, but that doesn't really matter because I don't like need that right away. The ornaments are the ones that need to be prepped. Pillowcases, I don't think there's really much to do unless I'm putting them in sleeves in advance. And then the notepads have not shipped yet, but they're supposed to arrive on the first, which is Thursday. So basically everything's kind of on track for me to open the shop on Monday the 5th. Second, third, fourth. Yeah, that would be the fifth. Oh my god, I need to like re-put in this pony. It's tugging at the front a bit. I think that's better. Yeah. Peppermint. Got some nice Christmas flavors of Nespresso. Honeycombs, eaten, coffee, acquired. Kiki, what you doing under there? Oh, you look like a little gift under the tree. Toot. Hey. Toot. Oh, my gosh. Precious gift. <laughs> it's on her back. <laughs> it's not sticky, though. I didn't take the sticky off. The sun is so vicious this time of year. One, it's reflecting off the ice on the pond. Two, I think it's just the position of the sun this time of year. Like, usually I can sit here and eat my breakfast in peace. Breakfast slash lunch. And now, but now the sun is just blinding. <laughs> I need to hurry up and replace these curtains because we can't close them. <laughs> they pull out a little bit. Oh wait, wait, oh. Actually that pulled out more than I thought. 
Oh, I thought they were too small for that. Oh, hey, Spidey. It's helping a bit. Ah, it's coming through the top. <laughs> it's also making me nervous with this tabletop with the sun coming through so strong. I'm like, is this going to start a fire? Can flat glass like a tabletop start a fire or does it have to be rounded glass or a mirror? I don't know, but I'm extremely nervous about this table now. Even upstairs, I'm at our, like my table where I need to be at today and it's bouncing off the ice right up here. <laughs> I might need to move the table back. I feel like those upper windows need remote control blinds so you can just have a little remote and close them because it's too high to reach anything. Might be something good for the future. So let's put together a single bunny pack just to see all the stickers. We need two of each bunny. I wanted these to be small enough that you could use them in like a planner or something like nice and small. You could even have them on like a gift you've wrapped or something, add a little extra pizzazz. I was gonna maybe do gift wrap tags, like the stickers, the to and from stickers, but it was just one of those things where I'm like, it'll have to be next year because I don't <laughs> just don't have the time this year, I'm not ahead of the game enough to do a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. So, cause I was thinking like I could do sassy Santa ones and then the bunny ones, but maybe next year, maybe next year. So yes, there are two of each bunny laid out there. And then I'll get one teddy bear, one hot chocolate, one ginger bun, and one mitten. These mittens are huge. <laughs> So with the sticker set, you would get all of these, which is what was originally on the full sticker sheet, except maybe these would have been smaller on the actual sticker sheet. But it's basically the original sheet, except die cut form. The borders do look thick when the stickers are this small, but they're see-through, so yeah. Look at my little babies. I just love the winter bun so much. Just look. Just... Oh, that freaking washi. So cute! It's so so cute! So my plans of having the shop update be Monday, December 5th are kind of up in the air right now because some stuff that was supposed to be delivered today is not coming today. The notepads, thankfully, are only delayed one day. They're coming tomorrow. They were coming from Vancouver and there was a big snowstorm there that just kind of <laughs> ruined my whole timeline here. So... A one day delay, not so bad, but the ornaments, the acrylic charm light up ornaments, the tracking originally said they would be here on December 1st, which is the day I'm recording this voiceover. And right now there is no tracking update beyond it leaving the country of origin. Like it's not even in Canada yet. And so I don't know. <laughs> it was supposed to be here today, but it's not even in the country and I'm getting really nervous and I'm hoping there's a possibility it still gets delivered by the weekend. Today is Thursday, so hopefully they do the weekend deliveries and it'll still be here before Monday, but it's really up in the air and I might need to push things back, so I don't know, I don't know, it's already so late. I mean, the only items I consider exclusively Christmas are Sassy Santa stickers, Sassy Santa washi, and then the bunny ornaments. Because the bunnies are more like wintry than Christmassy. At least that was the goal with the design. <laughs> Make it not exclusively a Christmas item. Um, but the ornaments are meant to go on a Christmas tree, although you could really just have them displayed anywhere you want. But uh, that's why I'm really nervous for these ornaments and so now I don't know what I'm gonna do and I'm freaking out and I just keep stalking the tracking and nothing's updating so that's great and I guess just we'll see we'll see check my twitter for final updates I guess on the actual shop update date because I will be announcing it very last minute <laughs> because I don't know what everything will be here next year I'm launching my Christmas items November 1st because December is always just so hectic like why <laughs> I should not be doing shop updates in December it should be way earlier so people get stuff in time for Christmas but also just because it's one less thing to stress over 
during December, which is already nuts to begin with. Okay, the pillowcases are here. There are four boxes, just like this. I'm opening this from the bottom, so this might be all upside down. are already pre-wrapped. Wait, are they individually wrapped though? Yes, I think so. I didn't know if I would have to put them in sleeves or if they would already come in sleeves. Oh, they're so soft. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Look at this. So they're made from a plush material. They're very, very soft. Oh my goodness. And now, maybe it wasn't for the bigger pillow. Well, this is like an 18 inch case. I wasn't sure if that would be a pillow this size or a size up, because most of our pillows are this size. I think this might be right. Yeah, yeah, this would be the right size. So like a smaller throw pillow. Well, I think this is kind of average. There's, there's different sizes out there. Oh my God. <laughs> it's always so exciting when you do a product for the first time. Like this is my first time doing the pillowcases. And I just love my bunny pattern so much. My bunny. You do have to put your own pillow insert into it though. All right, I guess I could stay in there. I was about to put the other one back on. We can get a different pillow for that other pillowcase. <sighs> yes. So I've moved my prints down onto these organizers and moved over my notepads. So I'm gonna put the bunny notepads here and then I think the ornament sets next to it. And the shelf above might just have more ornaments, but also the pillowcases can go up there because when Christian is at work, he won't be able to help me. And so there will be those days where I am still packing by myself. So that station needs to be fully stocked in addition to this one. This table I'm not filling up yet because I do need to do product photos and I'll be doing that on that table. So I'm not loading it up yet because I'll have to put prints there and also pillowcases. So for my shelves, I think I'll just try to stack these on the shelf, not in a container. For Christian, I'm putting some of these in these bins. They fit in vertically quite nicely, although these are stackable. So if I wanted to stack them, I couldn't really do that. I'd have to lay them down a bit, but I'm probably just not gonna stack them. They can just be in like that. Honestly, I could probably use bigger bins for these, but I've got these just sitting around. Cause I had more like enamel pins and washi in mind for these. So these maybe, maybe if you want to use something bigger. I'll fill more of those. I just want to try putting some up here. <laughs> this area is looking stuffed. I don't even have the sketchbooks out. <laughs> and over here, my tree, which I put up the other night. Dun, dun, dun. I have the colored lights on. So it has built-in lights that can be white or colorful. And then I added a string of white lights. So it's kind of a mix of colorful and white. And yeah, I don't know if these really match. These probably should go on the upstairs tree, but they're just so cute. I see them a lot more when they're down here. They don't really match the color scheme. You know, this is very, gold, white, and some soft pink. And these I saw at Canadian Tire this year. It's a set of six ornaments and they're back. I don't know if it's the exact same designs because I saw one I didn't really recognize. So maybe it's not the exact artwork because there was a deer with a bird on its back and I was like, I don't think I have that one. Yeah, that's 
the tree. We can see Mr. Moose out there. And there's Pingu. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's coming along down here. I might do just a little more tidying, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. The shop update most likely will be Monday. If I can swing it, I'd love Sunday, but I don't think that's realistic. So Monday, December 5th is when I want the shop update to be. So this is the last vlog before then. So there's your warning. So thank you in advance to anyone who grabs anything from the shop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. And then there was another problem because my washi tapes, they got delivered, they looked great. But that very same day, I got contacted by the manufacturer saying that they accidentally made my order twice and they were asking if I was willing to buy the excess washi off of them for 30% off.